he's a left-handed guy. I'm a right-handed guy. Oh my gosh. He's going to come in with, say, I don't know, backhand strike or something. What are all my disarms that I know? I can do a number three. Does it work? Oh, yes. It works. Okay. A number, even a number one works. So, so he does the, the, that angle. So still backhand. Notice that the angle for me is going to be what I think is number one. So he does number one over here. Guess what? I'm going to do any of those guys. Okay. So anyway, so his number two was my number one. I can still do that, can I not? Simple. And then same thing, any side over here, right? One of the things you cannot do, though, is the number two disarms. What happens? I pass that, he slashes, I'm a doomed camera. So, but you can do it before. Okay? Okay, simple. Left-handed, we can do all of that same stuff. If nothing else, you can always do a leverage. So it comes in with anything. Okay, then I can always do a leverage. Right? I don't care. <laughs> always do a leverage. Do something. Kind of like, kind of like with the self defense. Do something and do it for real. <laughs> and then, for a harder time, try it with their normal hand and somehow your right hand is broken and you're holding a stick. It shouldn't change anything, but it changes up here. So just play with that. So, normally what's going to happen, I'm going to walk around and guess what? I don't got a stick. I'm a nice guy. Just walk around like this. Somebody comes at me with a stick, whatever, any strike. Okay. I don't care. You have to then flow with it. So I do not like this. If he comes in, I don't want to be there. If I were going to be there, I would blend. He does the same thing. Okay, all right. Right? I'm not going to go straight in and force the force up. Plus, guess what? I'm turned. He's got that other weapon. Not very good, is it? So I want to cross him. Okay. Oh, he's on cross step. Okay, I don't care. What do I do? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the other. Same thing on the other side. Again, if he comes on the other side, I don't want to win. Especially with people putting you. Have you ever done a backhand strike? You just top that bunion. You didn't feel good, did it? So you can pass it through. I like to destroy that bicep. Come down. Guess what? I'm trying to keep it simple so it's fast, okay? He comes another. You could also then pass it through, okay? Well, I'm still going to blend. I'm still going to blend, okay? But I don't want to be force on force because he's already setting up his power. He knows when I'm going to do that, when I'm going to do that. The only way I can get on that is if it's going to wham, okay, I have to jam it, okay, so what did I do? I went straight to, right about there, okay, pop that guy, doesn't feel good, okay, that's one thing, or you, you could go, okay, and you pop on this guy, okay, <laughs> Now you're a lefty. Now I'm a lefty. <laughs> what am I doing though? So again, I'm never being in his vector of his vector of death. What he's defining is death. I want to be guiding him through. Now it's my vector. I want to stop it before I get there. His vector is still open. I do what I want. I want to either jam it on the other side. Oh, this, this one. I might want to blend it. So I went around his vector of death. And you notice I'm hitting there. When I hit there, when I hit there, I'm also hitting back there. I'm bam, okay. See him stumble? Yeah, but this is the blend. He comes in. Okay. And then, ooh, there's a bug on the floor that I want to put his jaw through. Good man. So try that then. Thinking about how you're going to use their body, well in this case their weapons, but it's really your weapon, they just don't know it yet. Okay? So let's just say, for example, he's going to be a stupid caveman strike and he's going to come over and do an overhead 12 strike. Okay? I like to plan with that and then do something kind of silly. Okay? So he comes in, he comes in overhead strike, I slid him up, and... Oh, I remember that one. And then I twist. So he comes down. He might. But he also 
had his center disrupted. Yes, take his balance. Right out of the I call that a I call that a bicycle. Wow. <laughs> and I have to then follow. So this follows into that guy. And there's really a hit there. Boom. Boom. And I can decide to go the other way. That's my Naturally went there, right? Why didn't naturally go there? So I didn't plan that. I did not plan that. I just feel and attack, just like Jack was saying. If you have to remember and go through the darn, oh my gosh, in the left room and the third house and whatever, you're already dead. Okay? So you have to adapt. He's going to fall differently next time? I don't care. You've heard that a lot, right? I don't care. I try to, so here's another thing. Uh, Jack and I were talking about it. You guys know a lot of stuff. Relax and let it be yours. Okay? Trust it. Trust yourself. Adapt, flow, go with it. Keep going. Dominate. Don't get stuck. Take your, take your time. If you get stuck, realize, okay, next time that's going to happen, I'm going to save that for later. I'm going to keep going. And then after the fight's over, I won. Then I'm going to go, what the heck? Why did I do the wrong thing there? You didn't do the wrong thing because you're walking away thinking why you did the wrong thing. So you couldn't have done the wrong thing. Make sense? All right. So one, one last time. What I'm going to do is blend. Okay. There's a lot of strikes in there, too, but I just want to show this weird thing. You guy, <coughs> you pop, and you decide which way you want to go. Okay. You have to make this a strike. Okay. So a lot of times when I show it, I'm like, and if he doesn't have a cup, it's going to hurt a lot. If he does have a cup, I'm still holding back because I really am just up there with a strike, not a pull. Bam! Okay, and then I decide where I want to go. This way, this way. Okay. You can't just go across. Right? 